Hey there, I saw this tweet and I thought I would relate my own sort of bad experience with Golang in the workplace. So at, at work I've been writing a, a static uh, HTML generator from, from our JSON APIs. And uh, obviously, I just started with a with a with a Go um, uh, with a local Go program, and and what I was doing is like a Go run, and and that was quite simple, and and that worked. And if my colleagues um, uh, wanted to get in on, in on the action, they can just sort of install Go on their MacBooks. Um, I'm like the only one that uses Linux, and and go run static gen uh, from the make file would will work will work just fine. So the the problem came is that uh, the the static generator was getting bigger and there had to be some some sort of like shared um, files in a sense, and so so what happened there is that uh, over over in the go nuts IRC page the guy recommended. I go for this sort of structure, but the minute I try to start using the structure and go get and go install, then obviously my go path was screwed up. So I had to put it into a directory structure like this, right? So now the, the big issue really is that is that installing Go is one thing, but in, and expecting my colleagues to set up um, a Go path is, is 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 entirely another thing. Another complicated thing is actually this is a, a proprietary code base. Um, I can't just I'm at, w at my work. I can't just make everything open source. I have it's it's a bit of a process. So so this is a private repo on GitHub. And when you start Go getting and Go installing from a private repo, it, it's just an absolute nightmare. So. Um, yeah, now what? I think the best thing to do perhaps is just put a static binary somewhere for my macOS and um, colleagues to to sort of w get down is like somehow to, some sort of like you know make uh, get dependencies or something like that. I, I'm really not too sure. Oh, another uh, complicated issue that I I I, I dare. Uh, exemplifies is templates. <sighs> so, okay, so like say you do a game, go install of the, the static site generator command that uh, I've, I've written for, for the company. Oops. Um, so, you, so you do that, but w when you start running the, the binary, then um, you have to be in the right directory to get the, the templates. Uh, again, the templates are sort of local to this particular static site generator project. So, yeah, the whole having a separate binary doesn't really make sense. I kind of just want to, to go back to the go run approach. Um, it's so much simpler. Um, and I think I will actually try get it back to the go run approach because the static binary approach, I think it will be a pain because I don't even have a way of building it. Okay, sorry for the rambling. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching.